Hello Year 9, welcome to task 3. We're going to be looking at the characters of George and Lenny from chapter 1 of Of Mice and Men. So we're going to explore how the author, John Steinbeck, introduces the two main characters by looking at an extract from chapter 1. So on the screen in front of you, you can see that extract. You should have read chapter 1 already as part of um, task 2 for this week. So let's have a close look at it. They had walked in single file down the path, and even in the open one stayed behind the other. Both were dressed in denim trousers and in denim coats with brass buttons. Both wore black, shapeless hats, and both carried tight blanket rolls slung over their shoulders. The first man was small and quick, dark of face, with restless eyes and sharp, strong features. Every part of him was defined, small, strong hands, slender arms, and a thin, bony nose. Behind him walked his opposite, a huge man, shapeless of face with large pale eyes and wide sloping shoulders, and he walked heavily, dragging his feet a little, the way a bear drags his paws. His arms did not swing at his sides, but hung loosely. The first man stopped short in the clearing, and the follower nearly ran over him. He took off his hat and wiped the sweatband with his forefinger and snapped the moisture off. His huge companion dropped his blankets and flung himself down and drank from the surface of the green pool, drank with long gulps, snorting into the water like a horse. The small man stepped nervously beside him. Lenny, he said sharply. Lenny, for God's sake, don't drink so much. Lenny continued to snort into the pool. The small man leaned over and shook him by the shoulder. Lenny, you're going to be sick like you was last night. Then he dipped his whole head under, hat and all. Then he sat up on the bank and his hat dripped down on his blue coat and ran down his back. That's good, he said. You drink some, George. You take a good big drink. He smiled happily. So let's think about what we learn about the two characters here, because George and Lenny are very, very different. Um, if you look at the beginning of the extract here, um, one of them's walking in front of the other. So it's worth thinking about how that relationship is being showed. You've got George in front and Lenny following behind. So does that suggest to us that perhaps George is the leader? He's the one in charge. If you have a look at what the men are wearing, both are dressed in denim trousers and in denim coats with brass buttons. Now, this is the typical kind of uniform, if you like, of what we call itinerant or migrant workers during the 1930s in America. So this is what kind of farmhands, workers on the land would have worn um, as they kind of travelled around moving from farm to farm looking for work. So they're essentially kind of defined by the uniform that they're wearing. As, as readers, we understand what their role in society is. So, let's have a look at Lenny to begin with. So, Lenny's described as this huge man. You know, he's much taller than George, he's much bigger. Um, but also, he's often compared to animals as something that happens um, throughout the novel. So, at this point, he's described as being like a bear drags his paws. So, it's worth thinking about the fact that Obviously, comparing him to a bear tells us something about the shape of him, the size of him. Um, but it could also suggest that perhaps he's not incredibly smart. We could we could also infer that from it. But also perhaps that he's potentially dangerous because bears are incredibly strong. So both men, as they're walking in their kind of denim uniforms, are also carrying... Um, blanket rolls. So this indicates that they're they're travelling somewhere, but also that you know they have no fixed home. That they you know they don't necessarily have um, somewhere that they return to. That they they are carrying their their lives with them. I'm just going to pull these up. There we go. So if you compare George, this in the red up here, to, to the green here, let's compare George to Lenny. So unlike Lenny, who's really tall, kind of really big, has got, you know, the shapeless face and everything's kind of soft and featureless, George is the complete opposite. He's got really strongly defined features. Um, so 
here on the PowerPoint, you can see Steinbeck presents George as small and defined. His restless eyes could suggest that he's always looking or searching for something. It could also suggest that he's always on the lookout for danger. Remember, George is the one who is, he's the one in front. Perhaps he's, you know, he's the one in charge. That could, um, you know, is he on the lookout for something? Is, is, he, um, is he looking out for danger? Now, if you think about how Lenny... Um, approaches the pool when he's thirsty. Um, again, Steinbeck compares Lenny to an animal. This time, rather than a bear, it's a horse. Okay, so again, we've got this big, strong, powerful animal that he's being compared to. Um, but also, the idea that he's being compared to animals perhaps um, is indicating that he's behaving according to his instincts, you know, his kind of more animalistic instincts rather than thought. So he kind of shoves his whole face in the in the pool and snorts it up like an animal does. And it's George who then tells him off. Here George starts behaving. He's almost like a parent to, to Lenny. You know, he tells him off, you know, he says it sharply, don't do that, um, you know, otherwise you're going to make yourself sick again. So it's interesting thinking about the two men's relationship because you definitely seem to have George who is kind of the one in charge who has to kind of look after Lenny, um, whereas Lenny is far more childlike um, and is often um, kind of behaves in a childlike way. So if you look at this bit in the in the last bit of the extract, Steinbeck presents Lenny as being very childlike and he dips his whole head in the water. Um, you know, he's covered in water and he's smiling happily by the end. So you've got these two very contrasting characters in George and Lenny that we've met right at the beginning. So what you need to do now is there are three worksheets that are going to get you to explore the characters of George and Lenny, which you can find on SharePoint. Now, they're all saved in the same document, but the first one is the green task. The second one is the orange task and the third one is the purple task. So you don't need to do all three. Just choose which one. Choose the level of challenge that you you know, you know usually use in class um, and, and aim to do that. And that will get you to explore how Steinbeck creates the two, um, presents the two characters in the first chapter. Thank you, everybody.